Welcome to this new tutorial about fixed networks and computer mode for satisfactory. Today we're going to talk about the basics of computers. The most important part of computers is the computer case. The computer case is essentially a base that can be used to extend with different functionalities like different kinds of CPUs for different kinds of programming languages as well as multitude of other features. The default UI of the computer case looks like this. You have a code tab which is essentially the main window for the interaction with the computer. This window uh, changes accordingly to the different kinds of CPU you have installed. This is the window which allows you to essentially start, stop uh, the computer or uh, just simply change the different kinds of codes. The EEPROM tab allows you to, ch uh, to add a different, ki uh, different kinds of EEPROMs for the different kinds of CPUs. These EEPROMs hold different kinds of programming co uh, code that is used at boot up of the computer. You can also use a floppy disks over here to uh, have additional file systems available if necessary. The EEPROM and the floppy can be crafted in the craft bench. The reflection tab allows you to search for the different kinds of properties, functions and signals of different kinds of co components and uh, things in, uh, in the complete uh, fixed networks environment. We will talk about this in depth in a later tutorial. Every computer case has to have at least one CPU installed to be a functional computer. There will be multiple different kinds of CPUs available at some point. Right now there is only a CPU available that allows for processing of Lua code. Later on there will for example be a CPU that allows for processing visual scripting code. If you have a Lua CPU installed, the main UI will look like something like this. On the left side you can see just normally like the window from the network manager, explorer for or the whole network. On the left bottom part, you can see a boot uh, start uh, button to sh uh, to start and stop the computer with some indicator lights if the computer is running, halted, or if an error has occurred. You also have on the bottom part uh, um, a console log, which allows you to view different log outputs as well as error messages that occur when a CPU is executed and has failed. For example, in this case, we have no EEP ROM. Inputted. This also is uh, uh, signalized with this error message here. No EEPROM is detected because we have we need to plug in first the EEPROM that can hold Lua code to be then able to write here some Lua code if necessary. Depending on the different kinds of CPUs you have installed, you may also need a little bit of RAM. You can place in multiple RAM modules to add more and more RAM to the computer available to run uh, its code. You also need a lot of RAM when you, for example, use a virtual file, a temporary virtual file system. There are also multiple different kinds of PCI devices, like a graphical processing unit you can use to render onto different kinds of screens, different images and texts, a screen driver that will add a new tab to the UI of the computer case, allowing to be bound to a GPU to display the things the GPU can render, a network card that, is, that allows to send network messages through the net, uh, to the component network and through network routers to different kinds of component networks for better communication between computers. And an internet card that can be used to access the real-life internet to do HTTP requests. Using these different kinds of modules you can plug into a computer case allows you to fully customize the features of a computer you may have for, uh, to fulfill different kinds of requirements you, uh, um, you may have in your daily coding life. This was a short explanation on how the computers of fixed networks work and how you can customize and use them for your daily lives by using fixed networks. I was Panarur from Codedy from Mr. Bytes and say bye bye until next time. And as always, keep coding! <laughs>